and welcome to this week's Emerge 5. Now in today's episode we'll be looking at the 5 reasons why Active Directory is the CISO's Achilles heel. Now this video is made possible thanks to an article by Chris Roberts, Hacker in Residence at St. Paris. You can check out the full article down below. 5. It's the cornerstone of most operations. Now despite most organizations utilizing a hybrid cloud directory with Azure AD and Office 365 in the mix, the system of record today for most organizations is still on-premises Active Directory. Therefore, every on-prem and cloud-based service application, data set, and resource rely either indirectly or directly on Active Directory to gain access. So should Active Directory become compromised, every part of operations dependent upon it comes to a halt. Number four, it's not designed for security. 20 years ago, Microsoft was building a way to centrally provide access and they weren't thinking about least privilege or zero trust. It does have some security elements, but without permissions detail to resources stored in Active Directory, it's merely an identity provider that your Microsoft ecosystem trusts to validate a user's identity. In essence, Active Directory is just a single sign-on platform ahead of its time. It's not designed to stand up to today's threats, and the threats are coming directly for it. Number three, it's now a common target for cyber attacks. Virgin Mobile's Active Directory was compromised and its data sold on the dark web. NTT's communications admitted to their Active Directory being compromised as part of a data breach. Riot Ransomware has been shown to modify group policy to propagate itself to endpoints via a login script. Truth be told, we always could trace the dotted line knowing that Active Directory was very likely part of an attack. Now we have data to prove it. Number two, standard disaster recovery plans aren't enough. Being able to recover Active Directory as part of greater disaster recovery efforts is a great start. But if a cyber attack results in infected domain controllers, a modified directory, or both, it's necessary to recover the data residing in Active Directory and return it to a known secure state. That means a malware-free underlying Windows Server OS and a recovered state of Active Directory from before any malicious modifications. Without addressing these concerns, current disaster recovery plans for Active Directory are little better than a simple blind recovery from backups. Number one, protecting Active Directory before, during, and after an attack. The plans above do help with the response efforts, but the remainder of the strategy has little to do with Active Directory specifically, and that's a problem, given the previous four reasons. This goes beyond the traditional monitoring tools, which a growing number of DC shadow-like attacks can circumvent. Active Directory-centric security tools are required to catch more sophisticated identity attacks that would otherwise leave your SIEM blind. Specific security provisions must be in place to monitor for and prevent unsanctioned changes within the Active Directory itself. Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Emerge 5. We'll be back next week for another episode, but until then, join us on Twitter at EM360Tech, on LinkedIn at EM360, subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit that bell for notifications, and for more great daily content, visit EM360Tech.com.